I think if one wants to ask what was the most important event in the last couple of centuries, I think the answer is very simple. The Second Vatican Council. Um, because the Second Vatican Council did not innovate. It did not create something new. It validated some of the deepest shifts that are occurring in, in modern times. Huh? And that's why what's most important for me about, sec about Second Vatican Council are the implications of what it said. The shifts that occurred, which most of the bishops that were there didn't even understand. Huh? Uh, and it isn't just simply, you know, that yes, now we have lay people that can minister in the church. All, all that's very important. Huh? But it's something like the Constitution and the liturgy. Hmm? What's implicit in that is a fundamental challenge uh, to the whole power structure in the church. Hmm? And we haven't begun huh, to realize the implications or to implement huh, what's in that document. Huh? So I, I don't think there's any question about the Second Vatican Council. It marks huh, kind of the turning point. Yeah. Uh, John XXIII knew that. People don't realize he knew that. I think he had a gut reaction. Yeah. He intellectually he was a conservative. Yeah. Um, but one of the things I think he sensed is that behind the persecution, I think it's the only word you can use for it, of top notch Catholic intellectuals that was taking place prior to that, huh? that that reflected the fact that there was something very real and important there. Hmm? And that's why as you know, one of the first things he did was in, I think it was three occasions, he kind of celebrated the Eucharist with the very theologians who had been you know, removed from teaching and everything else a couple of decades before. 